Welcome to a new series I call Chat D&D. In this series, I play a D&D campaign with ChatGBT acting as the Dungeon Master. I will switch between summarizing the events that happen and reading what ChatGBT generated verbatim, depending on how interesting ChatGBT's text is. Without further ado, let's get started. In this campaign, I'm using a character that I made in a D&D campaign I played with humans. His name is Samuel Avalane. He's an Eric Hochran paladin that is dedicated to spreading the gospel of his deity, Bird Jesus, and he wants to wipe out all the things that stand in the way of his religion. Now here's what ChatGPT generated for the story. In the serene village of Skyreach, perched high among the clouds, your character receives a divine vision from Bird Jesus commanding you to seek out and cleanse a corrupted shrine in the ancient greenwood forest below. Legends speak of this shrine as a place where the sky and the earth once met, a site of great power now overrun by a mysterious darkness. You prepare for your journey, taking a moment to glance at your holy symbol, a feathered emblem glinting in the sun, and set off towards the greenwood forest. As you descend from your lofty home, the dense canopy of the Greenwood Forest comes into view, its depths shadowed and foreboding. Upon reaching the outskirts, you notice an unnatural silence hanging over the woods. Suddenly, a group of bandits springs from the underbrush, eyeing your equipment with greed. There are three of them, rough and unkempt. Hand over your valuables, bird, and we might let you pass, the leader sneers. Then, combat starts. It is me with my longsword against three bandits who also have swords. The bandits and I trade blows. Bandits 1 and 2 manage to get me down to 11 health before dying by my hand. Then, Bandit 3, avenging the other bandits, gets a nat 20 attack roll and brings me down to just 3 health. I use Lay on Hands to heal me up to 13 health and manage to kill the third and final bandit, ending the battle. I loot the bodies of the bandits and find 48 coins and nothing else. And then I go further into the forest, and here's what ChatGPT says about that. Samuel continues his journey through the Greenwood Forest, moving deeper into the ancient woods. The trees grow taller and the air becomes cooler as you venture further. The light filtering through the leaves casts a dappled pattern on the forest floor, and the sounds of wildlife begin to fill the air again a sign that the natural order is slowly restoring as you move away from the site of the ambush. After a few hours of travel, you come upon a clearing. In the center, shrouded in an eerie mist, stands the corrupted shrine that you've been seeking. It's an ancient structure, its stones covered in moss and vines with a palpable sense of dark energy emanating from it. As you approach, you feel a heavy, oppressive force in the air, the taint of whatever evil has beset the sacred place. When I enter the shrine, the AI says, Samuel cautiously approaches the shrine, his senses alert for any signs of danger or corruption. The shrine, once a beacon of holy power, now bears the marks of dark influence. Faint, shadowy tendrils seem to seep from the cracks in the stone, and the air is thick with an unsettling energy. With my 14 roll on investigation check, ChatGBT tells me, The focus of the shrine is the central altar, which now seems to be a nexus of dark energy. It's covered in strange dark symbols that were not part of the original shrine. I also learned that there are ritual offerings in the shrine, and that there is a faint trace of dark magic, indicating that the corruption is recent. I know it's my time to cleanse this shrine of its corruption, so I grab my cross, I sprinkle some holy water on the altar, I pray to bird Jesus, and I roll a three, and literally nothing happens. Great. After rolling a nat 1 on an investigation check, because of course I did. I use the spell Divine Sense and learn that the corruption might be caused by either the shrine itself or a cursed object. So I search for a cursed object and find a small darkly glowing object. It's an amulet shaped like a twisted corrupt version of a holy symbol radiating malevolent energy. Knowing the amulet must be the source of the shrine's corruption, I start rolling to cleanse it. At first I roll a 15 which makes the corruption wane a little but doesn't fully remove it. Then when I keep working on it and roll a 20, ChatGPT says, With renewed vigor and a clear connection to the divine, you focus your energies on the amulet. The dark energy that once clung to it dissipates completely under the influence of your powerful faith 
and the divine light of bird Jesus. The amulet, once a source of corruption, is now cleansed of its malevolence. The air around the shrine clears and a sense of sanctity returns. The oppressive atmosphere is replaced by a feeling of peace and light. It's a testament to your dedication and the strength of your convictions. With the amulet cleansed and the shrine's corruption lifted, you have successfully completed a significant part of your quest. The shrine can now be restored to its former glory as a sacred place. That's the end of my first quest, but not the end of the story of Samuel Avalane. In the next episode, I will try to figure out who cursed the shrine and take them down. So, make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!